Cebu City, officially the city of Cebu, is the capital city of the province of Cebu and is the second city of the Philippines, being the center of Metro Cebu, the second most populous metropolitan area in the Philippines after Metro Manila. With a population of 866,171 as per the 2010 census, it is the fifth most populated city in the country. Cebu City is a significant center of commerce, trade and education in the Visayas area. The city of Cebu is also known as the Queen City of the South. The city is located on the eastern shore of Cebu Island. It is the first Spanish settlement and the oldest city in the Philippines. Cebu is the Philippines' main domestic shipping port and is home to about 80% of the country's domestic shipping companies. It is the center of a metropolitan area called Metro Cebu, which includes the cities of Kaka, Danao, Lapa Lapu, Mandal, Naga, Tailze, and the municipalities of Compostela, Consolacion, Cordova, Lilome, Minglanilla, and San Fernando. Metro Cebu has a total population of about 2.55 million people. Cebu City is bordered to the northeast by Mandal City and the town of Consolacion, to the west of Toledo City, and the towns of Balamban and Asturias, to the south of Tailze City and the town of Minglanilla. Across Mactan Strait to the east is Mactan Island. Etymology The name Cebu came from the old Cebuano word Cebu or Cebo, a shortened form of Cinebuayan Hingpit. It was originally applied to the harbors of the town of Sugbo, the ancient name for Cebu City. Sugbo, in turn, was derived from the old Cebuano term for scorched earth, or great fire. History Before the arrival of the Spaniards, Cebu City was part of the small Rajanet and trade center of Pulua Kandang or Kandaya, now better known as the Rajanet of Cebu. It was founded by a minor prince of the Hindu Kola dynasty of Sumatra. Sri Lumi. The name Sugbo refers to Sri Lumi's scorched earth tactics against Moro raiders. On April 7, 1521, Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan landed in Cebu. He was welcomed by Raja Humaban, the grandson of Sri Lumi, together with his wife and about 700 native islanders. Magellan, however, was killed in the Battle of Mactan and the remaining members of his expedition left Cebu soon after several of them were poisoned by Humabon due to threats of foreign occupation. The last ruler of Sugbo, prior to Spanish colonization, was Raja Humabon's nephew, Raja Tapas. On February 13, 1565, Spanish conquistadors led by Miguel La Cubed Pez de Legazpi together with Augustinian friar Andra Copyrightes de Yudanita arrived in Cebu but left after clashing with hostile natives. The expedition visited Mazor, Leyte, and Bahol where the famous Sandugo or blood compact was performed between La Cubed Pez de Legazpi and Dacia Sicatuna, the chieftain of Bahol on March 16, 1565. The Spanish returned to Cebu on April 15, 1565. They then attempted to parley with the local ruler, Raja Tapas, but found that he and the local population had abandoned the town. Raja Tapas presented himself at their camp on May 8, and the Treaty of Cebu was formalized on July 3, 1565. La Cubed Pez de Legazpi's party named the new city Villa de San Miguel de Quibadot. In 1567, the Cebu garrison was reinforced with the arrival of 2,100 soldiers from New Spain. The growing colony was then fortified with a few at de San Pedro. By 1569 the Spanish settlement in Cebu had become important as a safe port for ships from Mexico and as a jumping-off point for further exploration of the archipelago. Small expeditions led by Juan de Salcido went to Mindoro and Luzon, where he and Marta N. de Goiati played a leading role in the subjugation of the kingdoms of Tundun and Celadon in 1570. One year later, La Cubed Pez de Legazpi departed Cebu to discuss a peace pact with the defeated Rajas. An agreement between the conquistadors and the Rajas to form a city council paved the way for the establishment of a new settlement and the construction of the walled city of Intramuros on the raised remains of Celadon. On August 14, 1595, Pope Clement VIII created the Diocese of Cebu as a suffragan to the Archdiocese of Manila. On April 3, 1898, 
local revolutionaries led by the Negrants Leon Killet rose up against the Spanish colonial authorities and took control of the urban center after three days of fighting. The uprising was only ended by the treacherous murder of Leon Killet and the arrival of soldiers from Iloilo. On December 26, 1898, the Spanish governor, General Montero, evacuated his troops to Zambonga, turning over government property to Pablo Mejia. The next day, a provincial government was formed under Luis Flores as president, General Juan Climarco as military chief of staff, and Julio Laurent as mayor. The signing of the Treaty of Paris at the end of the Spanish-American War provided for the cession of Cebu along with the rest of the Philippine Islands to the United States until the formation of the Commonwealth era. On February 21, 1899, the USS Petrel deployed a landing party of 40 Marines on the shores of Cebu. Cebu Euro unregistered trademark S transfer to the Commonwealth government was signed by Luis Flores although others, most notably General Arcadio Maxilom and Juan Climarco, offered resistance until 1901. Governor W. H. Taft visited Cebu on April 17, 1901, and appointed Julio Lorento as the first provincial governor. Juan Climarco was elected to that office in January 1904. Cebu only became a chartered city on February 24, 1937. Many Philippine cities such as Danzalan, Iloilo City, and Baculod City were only incorporated as such at that time. Until then, Cebu City had never been more than a town since its original founding in 1565. The city along with the rest of the country came under Japanese occupation during WWII. The Japanese encountered some opposition there from guerrillas led by Colonel James Cushing and the Cebu Area Command. It was finally liberated with the battle for Cebu City in March and April 1945. The military general headquarters of the Philippine Commonwealth Army and 8th Infantry Regiment of the Philippine Constabulary, active from 1942 to 1946, was stationed in Cebu City during World War II. Colon Street a dense and compact area in downtown Cebu City, was once the site of fashionable shops, restaurants and movie houses. It was the heart of Cebu City's shopping and business activity, but in recent years, much of this activity has shifted to the more modern, bigger and diverse commercial and business districts now spread in almost all of the urban areas of the city in what used to be considered residential and leisure settlements. Colon is the oldest and the shortest national road in the Philippines. Colon also serves as a transit point of public utility jeepneys covering arterial routes within the city. Geography Cebu City has a land area of 315 square kilometers. To the northeast of the city is Mandal City and the town of Consolacion. To the west is Toledo City and the towns of Balamban and Asturias. To the south is Talze City and the town of Minglanilla. Across Macton Strait to the east is Macton Island where Lapa Lapu City is located. Further east across the Cebu Strait is the island of Bohol. Barangays, the city is politically subdivided into 80 barangays or barrios. These are grouped into two congressional districts, with 46 barangays or barrios in the northern district and 34 barangays or barrios in the southern district. North District South District Climate, demographics, around the 1960s, the population of the city was about 91,000. The population reached 799,762 people in 2007, and as of the 2010 census, the city's population has grown to 866,171 in over 161,151 households. Economy Seboom, a portmanteau of Cebu and Boom has been used to refer to the rapid economic development of both Cebu City and Cebu Province in the early 1990s. With Cebu City's proximity to many islands, beaches, hotel and resorts, diving locations and heritage sites, high domestic and foreign tourist arrivals have fueled the city's tourism industry. Due to its geographic location, accessibility by air, land and sea transportation, Cebu City has become the tourist gateway to central and southern Philippines. The city is a major hub for the business process outsourcing industry of the Philippines. In 2013, 
Cebu ranked 8 worldwide in the top 100 BPO destinations report by global advisory firm, Tholens. In 2012, the growth in ITBPO revenues in Cebu grew 26.9% at $484 million, while nationally, the industry grew 18.2% at $13 billion. Cebu Holdings Incorporated and the Ayala Corporation created the Cebu Park District, the integrated, master-planned, mixed-use economic zones of the Cebu Business Park and Cebu IT Park. Both parks host various regional headquarters for various companies in the banking, finance, IT and tourism sectors, among others. Shipbuilding companies in Cebu have manufactured bulk carriers of up to 70,000 metric tons deadweight and double-hulled fast crafts as well. This industry made the Philippines the fourth largest shipbuilding country in the world. Cebu Pacific Air is an airline owned by the Cebu-based Gokongwe family. In 2008, Cebu Pacific was named as the world's number one airline in terms of growth. The airline carried a total of almost 5.5 million passengers in 2007, up 57.4% from 2006. On January 6, 2011, Cebu Pacific flew its 50 millionth passenger from Manila to Beijing. The airline aims to reach the 100 million passengers mark in 2015. Cebu Pacific commenced international long-haul flights to the Middle East on the Airbus A330-300. It had planned to service the USA, Australia and some parts of Europe in the third quarter of 2013, but the plans have not yet been implemented. With a revenue growth rate of 18.8% .8 in 2012, the real estate industry is the fastest growing sector in Cebu. With the strong economic indicators and high in-store so Euro unregistered trademark confidence level, more condominium projects and hypermarkets are being developed in the locality. The site of Euro unregistered trademark S300 hectare reclaimed South Road properties is a mixed-use development south of the city that will feature entertainment, leisure, residential and business processing industries. Culture Cebu City is a significant cultural center in the Philippines. The imprint of Spanish and Roman Catholic culture is evident. The city's most famous landmark is Magellan's Cross. This cross, now housed in a chapel, is reputed to have been planted by Ferdinand Magellan when he arrived in the Philippines in 1521. It was encased in hollow tindalo wood in 1835 upon the order of the Augustinian bishop Santos Gar cubed mesmara plus or minus on to prevent devotees from taking it home chip by chip. The same bishop restored the present template or kiosk, located at the present Magellan Street between the City Hall and Colegio del Santo near plus or minus O. Revered by Filipinos, the Magellan's Cross is a symbol of Christianity in the Philippines. A few steps away from the Magellan's Cross is the Basilica Menor del Santo near plus or minus O. This is an Augustinian church elevated to the rank of Basilica in 1965 during the 400th year celebrations of Christianity in the Philippines, held in Cebu. The church, which was the first to be established in the islands, is built of hewn stone and features the country's oldest relic, a figure of the Santo near plus or minus O de Kiba. This religious event is celebrated during the island's cultural festivities known as the Sinulog Festival. Held every third Sunday of January, it celebrates the festival of the Santo near plus or minus O, who was formerly considered to be the patron saint of Cebu. The Sinulog is a dance ritual of pre-Hispanic indigenous origin. The dancer moves two steps forward and one step backward to the rhythmic sound of drums. This movement resembles somewhat the current of the river. Thus, the Cebuanos called it Senulog. When the Spaniards arrived in Cebu, the Italian chronicler Antonio Pigaeta, sailing under convoy with the Magellan expedition, offered a baptismal gift to Hara Amayan, wife of Raja Humaban. She was later named Joanna, a figure of the Santo near plus or minus O. The natives also honored the Santo Nia plus or minus O de Kiba in their indigenous Sinulog ritual. The Sinulog ritual was preserved but limited to honoring the Santo Nia plus or minus O. Once the Santo Nia plus or minus O church was built in the 16th century, the Christianized Austronesian natives started performing the Sinulog ritual in front of the church, 
the devotees offering candles and indigenous dancers shouting Viva Pit C plus or minus all. In the 1980s and 2000s, the city authorities of Cebu added the religious feast of Santo Nia plus or minus O de Kiba during the Sinulog festival to its cultural event. Local government. Being a highly urbanized city, Cebu City, is independent from Cebu Province. Its electorate do not vote for provincial officials. There were proposals during the time of Governor Emilio Mario Osme plus or minus a to establish an administrative district that would be independent from Cebu City. This would literally mean carving out Cebu City's barangay capital where the provincial capital and other provincial offices are located. The plan, however, did not go through and was even followed by other proposals like the transfer of the capital to Balamban. Cebu City is governed by a mayor, vice mayor and 16 councillors. Each official is popularly elected to serve for a three-year term. The chief of the Association of Barangay Captains and the president of the Sanguniang Kabatal in Federation also managed in the city council. The day-to-day -day administration of the city is handled by a city administrator. Mike Rama is currently the mayor of the city. Rama, formerly the city vice mayor from 2001 to 2010, was elected during the 2010 Philippine elections, meanwhile Joy Augustus G. Young is the current vice mayor. Current city officials, House of Representatives, 1st District, Rep. Raul Five Del March 2nd District, Rep. Rodrigo Bebot A. Abelanoza. City Mayor, Hon. Michael Mike L. Rama, Vice Mayor, Hon. Edgardo Edgar C. Labella, Infrastructure. The city is readily accessible by air via the Mactan Cebu International Airport located in Lapa Lapu City which is direct international flights to Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Japan, China, South Korea and domestic destinations. Many international and cargo airlines fly to Cebu. There are also direct transfer flights via the capital's Ninoy Aquino International Airport that readily connect the city to other destinations in the world. The city mostly gets its power from an interconnection grid with a late geothermal power plant, which also powers the majority of the Visayas Islands. There are also coal-fired power plants, though these have been controversial due to their environmental impact. Another coal-fired power plant is nearing completion and is envisioned to make the city independent from the interconnection grid once completed. The city is served by a domestic and international port which are handled by the Cebu Port Authority. Much of the city's waterfront is actually occupied by the port with around 3.5 kilometers of berthing space. The city is home to more than 80% of the country's island vessels traveling on domestic routes mostly in the Visayas and Mindanao. The South Road Properties is a 300-hectare prime property development project on a reclaimed land located a few meters off the coast of Cebu's central business district. It is a mixed-use development that will feature entertainment, leisure, residential and business processing industries. It is registered with the Philippine Economic Zone Authority and is funded by the Japan Bank for International Cooperation, JBIC. Traversing the property is a 12 kilometers, four-lane highway known as the Cebu Coastal Road that provides the motorists with a good view of Cebu's south coast and the nearby island of Bohol. Telecommunication facilities, broadband and wireless internet connections are available and are provided by some of the country's largest telecommunication companies. In the 1990s the Inayoran Sanitary Landfill was constructed to ease garbage disposal within the city. It is however nearing its lifespan although the provincial government is planning to build two sanitary landfills to serve both the northern and southern parts of Metro Cebu including Cebu City. In June 2005, the city fully implemented the segregation of wastes as mandated by law. Mass transportation throughout the city and the metropolitan itself is provided by jeepneys, buses and taxis. The Cebu City government conducted a feasibility study on implementing its bus rapid transit system that will ease the transportation of the residents in the city and its neighboring cities like Mandal, Lapa Lapu, and Tailze. It has the same concept with the Metro Manila's light railway transit system but it is more cost effective. This kind of mass transportation is popular in the Latin America and now it is implemented in the United States, Australia, and Indonesia.
The project's first phase is expected to be operational in 2013. The remaining and additional phases is expected to be operational in 2015. The network will be passing to the Cebu Business Park, North Reclamation Area, South Road Properties, and Macton Cebu International Airport. Education Cebu City currently has 10 large universities each with a number of college branches throughout the city and more than a dozen other schools specializing in various courses. Among these schools is the University of San Carlos. It has four campuses around the metropolitan area. It is currently headed by the Society of the Divine Word. The University of the Philippines Cebu, located at Barangay Campu Thor in the district of Laog in Cebu City currently has eight courses and has plans of expansion and development. The UP Board of Regents elevated the status of UP Cebu as an autonomous unit of the University of the Philippines system on September 24, 2010. Another Catholic university in Cebu City is the University of San Jose Euro Recolitos which was established in 1947. It is currently headed by the Augustinian Recollects and has two different campuses within the city excluding a new campus outside the city located in the municipality of Balamban. Cebu Normal University was established in 1902 as a provincial normal school, a branch of the Philippine Normal School. It became an independent institution in 1924, a chartered college in 1976 and a university in 1998. The Cebu Doctors University was granted university status on November 2004. It is the only school in the Philippines declared as a university without having basic education curriculum and catering mainly to courses related to the health services field. It was relocated to a nine-story main building at the Cebu Boardwalk in neighboring Mandal City thus closing its old campus near the then Cebu Doctors Hospital. The University of Cebu in Bainalad opened in June 2002. The University of Cebu's main campus offers courses such as Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, HRM, Computer Engineering, BSED and others. Also located in the city is the University of the Visors. Established in 1919 and considered to be the first university in Cebu, University of the Visors is home to many local and national political figures. It was granted an autonomous status by the Commission on Higher Education in 2010 and currently offers basic education and a number of courses in the tertiary level including medical courses which are housed in its campus in Bainalad area. Other noteworthy institutions in the city include the Don Bosco Technology Center, Cebu. Cebu Institute of Technology A Euro University, Southwestern University, St. Teresa's College, University of Southern Philippines Foundation in Lerac and Mabini, Cebu Technological University, Cebu Institute of Medicine, Cebu International School, Sacred Heart School, Ateneo de Cebu and the Colegio de la Inmaculada Concepcion. The upcoming Centro Escola University, Cebu will be the fourth campus of the university after its Manila, Malolos, and Makati campuses. Cebu City has 68 public elementary schools, 23 national high schools and 28 night high schools. These night high schools are operated by the city government. The Cebu City Public Library and Information Center is the only public library in Cebu. Sports the Cebu City Chiefs are a rugby league team and participate in the Philippines National Rugby League. Cebu Queen City United FC are a football team currently play in Division II of the United Football League. Cebu Dragons are a rugby union team in the Philippine Rugby Football Union. Tourism Tourism is a thriving industry in Cebu. It hosted the 1998 ASEAN Tourism Forum. The city also hosted the East Asian Tourism Forum on August 2002, in which the province of Cebu is a member and signatory. There are a significant number of Filipino-Spanish heritage buildings in Cebu City which includes the Basilica Menor del Santo Nia Plus or Minus O, Fort San Pedro, Casa Gorido Museum and Magellan's Cross, among others. The Cebu Reggae Festival is a popular Filipino reggae and roots music festival. It now has become one of the Philippines' largest annual reggae festivals. On Cebuano musical heritage, the Jose Agulas Halad Museum in Vigulas St. Corner de Jacozalem Street in Cebu City, 
holds musical memorabilia of Cebuano composers in the early 20th century, the likes of Ben Zubiri, Inting Ruby and Mingoy Lopez. The Cebu City Sports Complex exhibits sporting and festival events. Within the city is the Cebu Taoist Temple, a Taoist temple located in Beverly Hills, one of the older but posh villages in Cebu. Views of Cebu City and its skyline can also be seen from villages and numerous gated communities located on its mountainsides. Ayala Center Cebu is a shopping mall at the Cebu Business Park, and is currently undergoing a massive expansion. On average, more than 85,000 people visit this mall every day, with the figure increasing to 135,000 on weekends. Sister Cities, Gallery. See also. List of parishes in Cebu, List of people from Cebu, Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Cebu, Metro Cebu, Cagayan de Oro, References. External links, Cebu Travel Guide from Waiki Voyage, Cebu City Government Website, Philippine Standard Geographic Code, 2010 Philippine Census.